Hello Capricorns, welcome back to my channel. It's Dina Case Case Nicole, and I am back again as always here on the Nutcase Network with the shenanigans, okay? This is your rumor has it reading, Capricorn, where we're gonna take a look, we're gonna try to see how prospective love interests view you when they approach you, when they go out on that first date how they see you when they first meet you, and what vibe you're giving off to them, okay? So you guys remember that the messages are general. They may not be for every Capricorn out there. So be sure to go with what you know. And remember that time is fluid. It moves like water. It could be past, present, or future energy. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, go ahead and subscribe right now. Don't hold off. I, you, look, it's going to be worth it, okay? It, you know, and if you're not really into cussing and all that, this is not this is not the right channel for you, boo. Okay, much love, but I'm gonna save you the stress and the trouble of leaving me raggedy comments now. Okay, <laughs> and just be sure to enjoy, you guys. Get your drink, get your smoke, get ready. Okay, we're gonna be talking about some real ass shit. So I hope y'all are down. I hope you enjoy the reading, and thank you to everyone who's supported me thus far. Okay, I appreciate all of your love, your donations. Everything that you guys do for me, I really love you guys. So, Guardian Angels, how are my Capricorns feeling about love? How is their spirit feeling about love, their love life, their relationship? Okay, what is going on with my Capricorns in regards to love? Wisdom. Wow, the shadow card is right there. It just, it's calling me. But wisdom, I feel like you're gaining wisdom about your shadow side. I'm not going to read it, but I feel like it was important because the bitch was sticking out, okay? Okay. I feel like you're realizing the good side of you, Capricorn, and the bad side of you when it comes to relationships and love, okay? You're definitely taking account of your part in situations, okay? And I feel like you're also taking account of what you've allowed other people to do in those situations, and you're becoming wiser each and every day, okay? The movement choices and decision card, which is number two, emphasizes that because it's like you are realizing now that some of the decisions you may have made were maybe not the best decisions in your life or for you, okay? They were the best decisions that you could make at that time, but you're realizing how you may need to adjust yourself to um, be able to overcome certain shadow aspects that you have in your life. You're, because because ultimately, Capricorn, you're trying to move forward. I feel like you're also at a crossroads here. Why did I hear the crossroads? Meet me at the crossroads, crossroads. Okay, where it was like movement and you're making decisions. Okay, you're trying to decide if love is really necessary right now. And you're like, I feel like mo mo majority of you guys are like, mm, nah, I'm good. <laughs> okay, <laughs> but... That, I feel like, is a part of your shadow side that you're trying to address. And maybe you're realizing that it's not wise for you to just basically put off love or act as if you don't need love. I feel like you guys are realizing that maybe everybody needs love at some point or another. You just don't know if it's the right time for you right now. So the shadow card is like the moon, which could be Cancer or Pisces. Okay, so you could be dealing with a Cancer or Pisces. The wisdom card is the Hierophant. Wow. So are you guys thinking about a connection with a Cancer or Pisces or a Taurus possibly where you're trying to decide where to take this relationship? So let's see. When the student is ready, the teacher will appear. This card illustrates that there's a spiritual teacher who's about to influence you or step into your life to impact his or her wisdom, or to impart, sorry, his or her wisdom. Look around. Is there someone in your life who has the acumen, education, knowledge, and the ability to integrate spiritually and its in, integrate spirituality and its laws into the constraints of the physical world? So is there someone around you who has those capabilities? This could be a compassionate person who offers guidance and inspiration and reminds you that you're so much more than a physical being. You're also a spiritual being with unlimited potential. You may have also drawn this card to confirm that it is time to reach out and find an organization or group of like-minded souls. Be part of a group where you can be yourself, share your thoughts, and give valuable feedback can infuse you and encourage you to be all that you can be, like the army. So maybe some of y'all are thinking about joining the army or the armed forces, okay? 
I just heard that be all you can be. And that's what it made me think about. Those old helicopter army commercials where somebody was standing on the ground and then the helicopter flew up. Like, okay. Kindred, kindred support helps you live life to your highest ideals. Finding the true inspiration and enlightenment that's part of your soul. Over time, the student often becomes the teacher. So don't be surprised when others seek out and find you. This card of wisdom is letting you know that you have so much to share whether you realize it or not. So it's like the Hierophant. I really feel like you guys have made some decisions in your life to change certain shadow aspects or certain things that are not really beneficial or serving you about yourself. Okay, you're, you're molding yourself into this new being of light. And I feel like along the way, you have made certain decisions, you've learned from certain people, and now people are being very drawn to you. I feel like in your love life, you are thinking, Capricorn, about a commitment. You're thinking about whether or not you're ready for a commitment. You're thinking about whether or not it's the right option or right decision for you at this time. So let's use the Moonology cards to see what your love focus should be in terms of spiritually where you need to be thinking about love or how you need to be viewing love at this time, okay? Y'all be sure to like, share, and subscribe while I split the deck Okay, so guardian angels, what should my Capricorn's love focus be when it comes to um, their love life? Where should they be focusing their energy at this time? Ooh, believe in the impossible. Blue moon. At the bottom, ooh, meditate and contemplate. New moon and Pisces. So blue moon and new moon. Okay, I feel like there's something new happening here. You could definitely be dealing with a Pisces or... Um, just be really in a very um, meditative, contemplative state when it comes to your love life. And I feel like that's where you need to be with this, with this meditate and contemplate card. You really need to take into account what you can do right now and what you can't do right now. What you're ready for right now and what you're not ready for right now. And I feel like that's what this card is saying. Let me find the blue moon. Why do I do that? Like I said, y'all be sure to like, share, and subscribe. It's on page 112. Okay. So, but, you know, even while you're meditating and contemplating, don't be negative. That's what this card is saying. Don't be negative in your thought process or your evaluation. Be positive. Believe in the impossible because what the least likely outcome, because you feel like it's too outlandish or too extravagant or, you know, too whatever, is exactly what could happen as long as you believe. Okay. Okay. It says, as you, as the saying goes, some things happen only once in a blue moon. <gasps> wow. In other words, so I feel like something that you least expect is about to happen or the outcome that you least expect is going to be what you get. I really feel like that's what it is. Okay. In other words, hardly ever. Drawing this card suggests you're about to get a rare chance and that something one-off could well be about to happen. This card is a very positive sign. If you felt like you're hoping for too much or asking <laughs> mm. Mm. so y'all are asking something and asking too much of the universe Ooh, bless me whatever you are asking about well it might only happen once in a blue moon but it can happen however with this rare opportunity before you it's important that you believe in it if you convince yourself that whatever you're asking about can never go in your favor, then guess what? <laughs> it won't go in your favor. Be grateful for this card, which is a reminder to believe in your dreams. A tune to the moon says, I'm lucky. Additional meanings for this card. So y'all need to remember that you're lucky. Additional meanings for this card. Miss this chance and it might not come back anytime soon. What happened may only happen once. The person you're inquiring about is a rare find. If you believe it, you can achieve it. And the situation is unlikely to repeat. Wow. Capricorn. Why do I feel this energy of like time running out? Or like you feel like time is running out or... <sighs> you feel like maybe something is too much. Or, or too unlikely and you don't want to get your hopes up for it but I feel like you really should I mean I'm not trying to dictate what you should do you have free will but I feel like there's something here that 
you really don't believe can happen, but <laughs> I feel like the universe is about to like give you a rude awakening of some kind. Okay. Okay, so guardian angels, can I get some romance angels for my Capricorns for the remainder of January 2021? What romance angels can offer assistance here? Okay, finances and career. So financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. And I felt like that. I felt like you guys are contemplating whether or not love is the right decision for you right now. Or if you even have time for no fucking love. If you even have time to be uh, investing in somebody, giving somebody undivided attention. It's like you're like, oh... Uh, I don't know because I got a lot of shit going on. <laughs> like Capricorn, like that's what I feel like you're saying. Okay, this could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. This could be the one. So either you guys could be feeling like you've met someone new and they could be the one. Okay, chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. So I feel like you guys maybe have met someone new who you're feeling a lot of chemistry for, but you're trying to decide, do you have time? Like, that's really what I feel. Or do you have the energy? Or if even if you haven't met someone, this could be what is coming towards you that you don't see. Um, and I feel like you're about to have a lot of chemistry with someone. And it could be the person who you are envisioning for yourself. But an obstacle could be your finances or career or their finances or career. Okay, calling in your soulmate is definitely what you're doing. Wow, retreat. I feel like you're running away though. I feel like you all might have met somebody and it's like maybe it was too much, too fast. And you guys are running away. I feel like you guys are really like unsure about the connection right now. And it's like, oh my God, you're like, oh, what choice do I make? Is this really going to work out? And I feel like you're needing to believe in the impossible here or believe in the positive. That's really what I'm getting. Okay. So what signs could be coming in contact with? Okay. There's an eager Gemini here, Capricorn. There's a very eager Gemini. This person is very eager to talk to you. They're very eager to spend time with you. And I feel like you're kind of nervous. Okay. This person could have Scorpio in their chart. I feel like they're a Gemini sun, Scorpio moon. Or it could just be a Scorpio and a Gemini. You could have choice. That could be a choice. And then Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, and maybe another Capricorn. I said Taurus earlier because this um, wisdom card is the Hierophant card. And the shadow card is the um, moon card, which is Cancer or Pisces. So I feel like it could be a Cancer, Pisces, Taurus, okay, maybe Virgo, possibly another Capricorn, Scorpio, but really, really, really strong Gemini. So somebody could be a Gemini sun, Scorpio moon, or um, Gemini sun, Cancer and Pisces moon, or maybe a Gemini sun with um, some Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn somewhere in like their rising or their moon or their Mercury or Venus signs. Okay, Mars. Okay, so they could be an Earth sign and the Mars sign. And then their sun at the back, which is Leo, or their sun sign could be like Aries as well with Mars or Scorpio could be their son. I don't think it's Aries. I feel like it's Scorpio, Gemini, maybe Taurus. I don't get a lot of Virgo, but could be Virgo. Okay, so let's see how prospective love interests view you, Capricorn. When y'all go on a date, when you meet this person, when you have that first FaceTime or over the phone conversation with this person, how are they seeing you? How do they view my Capricorns, Guardian Angels? Okay, let's see. Okay, so please show me, Guardian Angels, how crushes or new love interests view my Capricorns. How do they see my Capricorns when it comes to love and romantic relationships and new connections? How are they being viewed? I really don't know what card is first, so I'm going to go with this side. Ace of Pentacles. There you go, Earth sign. Okay? I feel like they definitely see you as someone who's very prosperous, someone who's been blessed here with this Ace of Pentacles, that God has given you a blessing of material gain or prosperity. Okay? Be careful of people who are just around you for money. Okay? Oh, the hangman reversed. Okay? 
And the five of swords. What Capricorn? So let's, okay. Let's evaluate this. Okay. So I feel like people see you as always going towards something new here. Always going towards something new with this Ace of Pentacles. Always ready to start a new adventure. Always ready to um, move to the next chapter or move to a new chapter in your life. With the Hangman in reverse, I feel like people definitely see you as someone who's not stuck, who's not tied down, who's single, who's not in a relationship. Okay, another emphasis of single is with the Ace of Pentacles. There's only one pinnacle here. Okay. But definitely you are someone who is open to opportunity, but really not someone who's not trying to go too deep, okay, with the hangman in reverse. I feel like people, you come off to people as someone who doesn't want to go too deep or someone who doesn't want to get caught up here. Someone who's willing to give a little but not willing to give everything necessarily, and that you're because you're because you like your independence here with this hangman in reverse. I feel like they see you as someone who has a lot to offer and is down the down the clown, but but not really wanting to get attached here. Okay, with the five of swords, it's kind of like this is your philosophy. Okay, not getting too attached, not being tied down, you know. Not being stuck on any one person or situation is your philosophy. Like, really, okay, Knight of Pentacles, I just saw it in the camera, revert. I mean, not reverse, but the Knight of Pentacles, just, you might be moving in reverse for some people. You might be moving so slow that you're moving in reverse. Like, you going backwards in their book because you're just not really, you, you're not pressed, Capricorn. You're not pressed. That's the only way I can put it. It's like you're not pressed and you're very adamant about it. You definitely could have a tendency maybe to feel as if you may fear commitment to a certain extent. I feel like people see you definitely as fearing commitment on a certain level because of family issues in the past, possibly um, a happy family situation that turned kind of sour here or being from a, a background of conflict when it comes to family dynamics. I feel like people feel that you are someone who's been through a lot here emotionally, probably had a lot of childhood trauma. And that's why you kind of um, either move slow, don't really um, go towards a lot of people. You don't really make a lot of effort to get into relationships because you feel as if it's better off or that you have to fight for your independence. A, a sense of needing independence or a sense of not wanting to be tied down here. Yeah. Because because you've been through situations where you've given it all. You've been through situations where you told the truth. You've been through a lot of uh, of things that really hurt you. Felt like it, it, it put a dagger in you. I feel like five of these daggers from the Ten of Swords are from your childhood. And the other half of bullshit happened when you were an adult. And you're just very cautious here with this Knight of Pentacles. And I feel like they see you... In a way where if 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 someone was to ask you why you don't commit Capricorn or why you don't settle down or why won't you give this relationship a chance, it's kind of like they feel like you get a little confrontational. I have to be honest. They feel as if you get a little um, defensive when it comes to talking about your past, talking about past relationships, your family or things that you've been through or why you don't want to necessarily be tied down. Okay. Someone who's just been wounded, okay? And I feel like people definitely can tell that you're not ready, okay? But you have a lot of love to give with this Queen of Cups. And I feel like you also don't want to be tied down because I feel like people see you as being very focused on money. Like money is the first thing that popped out. The Ace of Pentacles. Focused on getting money. Focused on working towards your goals. I feel like people see you as having... Uh, as as having money in a higher importance level than a relationship. But with the Queen of Cups, they also see that you have a lot of love to give. I feel like they recognize your emotions and your level of emotional intelligence. And also they see you as someone who knows their worth, who's definitely been in emotional situations and really trying to control their emotions here. You could definitely be a parent here with this Queen of Cups. You could have a child or children and you are very protective of them. You're a nurturer. And I feel like people do see that in you. 
but they also see that you are expecting, you know, the same thing in return that you give out. Oh, and the Knight of Pentacles is still at the bottom. So definitely a cautious lover, someone who's very cautious, who is willing to work hard on a relationship, but wanting to work on it over time, not wanting to rush into anything. Oh, I think I just hit the camera. My bad, y'all. But yeah. I just really feel like people see you as more so being focused on your money and not really taking a shine. Yeah, look, split deck message. Look at this. The Hierophant again, because the Wisdom card is the Hierophant, plus the Hermit card, which is Virgo, Energy, Taurus, and Virgo. So it could be Virgo, but that you're really just closed off to relationships right now. You're closed off to being in a commitment. You're, you're really trying to learn about yourself and what type of commitment that you really want out of life. And that's, I feel like, what people see in you when they approach you. And if they try to check you on it, if they try to be like, oh, well, are you bitter or are you mad? You're kind of like, fuck off, bitch. Mind your motherfucking business. Like, that's how, I feel like that's how y'all kind of coming off Capricorn because really nobody has the right to insinuate why you feel the way you feel. They just have to respect your boundaries. And I feel like that's where you're at right now when it comes to love. Is to discovering what you you're you're at the point where you're like, look, if I'm gonna go for love, I'm gonna really take the time to learn what I want, okay? And people see you as definitely going towards the money. So, what's the Ace of Pentacles? Y'all really about your money, cause y'all cards just jumping out, okay? Y'all cards jumping the fuck out with the king, the King of Wands. You're definitely pursuing a business. Um, you're definitely pursuing a small business okay that you want to turn into a big business here you want to be the ceo head honcho okay charles in charge the big boss man on campus you know that ain't part of the song but that's what you're doing and people see you as definitely being in charge i feel like people are very attracted to you as well with this ace of pentacles i feel like they're attracted to your financial fluidity i don't know if that's the right word but like you're very, um, you're very wise. I feel like about money and things like that. Ooh, page of wands. And, and you're very smart about starting new businesses. I feel like you've mastered how to create alternate forms of income here. And you've mastered being able to go into, um, financial or, um, career business situations with a confident, um, calm, cool and collected attitude. Very, very financially focused, definitely in touch with your passions and you're successful, period. Six of Wands, you're successful and you're not accepting scraps. You're not taking no shit with this Four of Cups. You're not accepting, you're not accepting any love offers at this time, even though you're getting a lot of attention. Oh my God. And the Queen of Wands right behind the Six of Wands. You definitely have fire in your chart here. You could definitely have Leo or Sag in your chart, maybe even Aries. But you literally have the whole motherfucking family out here except for the Knight of Wands. But I really feel like you're very confident and you you're you're definitely get you you could be getting traction online. Okay, you could be getting more high, like a higher social media engagement. I feel like you guys are definitely a nervous about starting love though because you know it's like you're very cautious here. You're not nervous but I feel like this is more, this nine of swords is more of a cautious energy of an observant energy um, because you have been in this nine of swords energy in the past. You have been feeling um, trapped, abandoned, okay? Having sleepless nights, can't focus, and it affected your career. And you guys may have even had to start over with something because you allow for someone to, it could have been a King of Wands character, someone who was very self-serving, um, kind of get in the way of what you were doing. And I really feel like that's why you're so cautious about meeting new people is because you've kind of taken on some of their energy. And if you don't see any benefit of that person, I feel like the benefit is that you were able to take on their energy and really focus on your coins, your money. Be driven the way that they were so driven in, in whatever their endeavors were. It's like, that's what you learned from that person. So you're very cautious. And I feel like, Giving this pin pinnacle, 
I was going to say pendant. So you could have been asked to, like, somebody may have asked you, what am I, what am I going to get for Valentine's Day? Or what are you getting me for Valentine's Day? You're going to get me a pendant, some jewelry. I feel like somebody asked you for some jewelry or they asked, like, when are you going to marry me? And you're just kind of like, oh, it's not the time. <laughs> yes, like, like you, it's like you feel like it's time. See, the time is, that's what I just said. It's not the time. And it's like, you know that you have a lot to offer here. And people definitely see you as a person who just does not have the time for love at this moment. Like a mover and shaker, somebody who's really moving forward. Okay, the hangman energy. Yeah, you, I, I really feel like people see you as someone who does not want to get caught up here. Period. You don't want to get caught up in any pregnancy scares. You don't want to get caught up in any toxic relationships. You're really like a rolling stone to so to speak. And you're and you can you can basically drop a motherfucker at the drop of a dime because you already know that you have a purpose and you have like tunnel vision, Capricorn. Y'all be sure to like, share, and subscribe. What's the hangman reverse? What's the hangman reverse? See the king of pentacles. You don't want to be tied down. See the knight of pentacles. See the empress. Exactly. Okay, you could definitely be wearing a lot of yellow lately or a lot of patterns here. But with the King of Pentacles, the Nine of Pentacles, and the Empress, it's like, you know what you have to offer. It's like, that's why this hangman is in reverse. I feel like you have gone within. I feel like you've realized what you have to offer and you realize that nobody is really exuding the qualities of a person that you feel like you could actually attach yourself to. No one's really shown themselves to you yet to be worthy of what you have to offer. And people feel that. I feel like people feel your energy. They may consider you being a little bougie or a little stuck up because you got the King of Pentacles and the Empress. And that's why you're moving slow is because you may be, people may feel as if you're thinking too highly of yourself, but I really feel like you guys are like in this mode of just pure advancement in your career. I'm sorry. That's what I see. I'm not going to apologize really for it, but you got two Kings out here. You're on, you're on fucking boss mode. You're on beast mode and you're on boss mode and you know your worth with this Empress card. And I really feel like you could be a mother. Okay. I feel like, a, or a father really no gender, but you could definitely be a parent because you have the Queen of Cups here and the Empress. You could be taking care of your parents. You could be supporting them. You could be the one, the sole provider for your family. And that's why you're like, no, I can't get stuck to anyone. I can't sit here and be attached or tied down to someone who drains me. And I feel like people see that. People feel like you're a great catch. People feel like you don't want to be tied down because you make good money. Okay, and you're a good parent, you're a good mother, you're a good father, you have a nice house, a nice car, okay, and you're taking care of business, you're in control of yourself, you could definitely be a boss, a CEO, you you created your LLC back in 2020 and you're, you're doing a damn thing, or you created it back in uh, one of the other years in the past, and you're just doing a damn thing, and you're rising slowly, but surely your money is growing but it's like they see you as really more, being more so selfish at this time with this King of Wands and this King of Pentacles really being focused on your money. And that really is your only um, objective. And I feel like people see that. People realize that. Okay. And it's like they realize that if they're going to fuck with you, if they're going to be down with you, they have to really be patient. They have to really, really be patient and they really have to slow their roll. I feel like they are seeing that they can't just come in and rush in like a like a wrecking ball and knock all your shit down because you're not going to allow that. They really have to wait their turn. That's what I hear somebody saying. Wait your turn. Wait your turn. Okay. What's the five of swords? Okay. Nine of cups. I feel like people do see you as a bit confrontational though. I feel like they definitely see you as someone who has a tendency to be confrontational and then explain yourself later with this Knight of Cups, okay? They feel like you're definitely... I feel like people are seeing you as possibly still being angry about, yeah, about a past connection here with the Two of Cups, okay? If you do get on somebody's bad side, you do come back, okay? I feel like not come back in terms of always running back to somebody you don't need. I'm saying if you know you're wrong... 
You're the type of person that will come back and apologize, okay, and try to express how you felt, why you said what you said with this two of cups and have a conversation, okay, a mature, um, intelligent conversation. But you also definitely believe what you believe and you stand behind your beliefs 100%, sometimes to a fault. And that's what people feel. I feel like people see you as someone who does not back down, who definitely has emotions to share and who definitely will admit when they're wrong, but you're a strong communicator and you have a very, um, I was going to say invasive communication style. Wow. The wheel of fortune again. And it's like, if you say sorry one time, you're not going to continue to say sorry over and over again. You're going to move on from the connection. If somebody doesn't want to accept your apology, you're kind of in this attitude where you're going to just move on. If they don't like it, then they just don't like it. And I feel like people can take that as, or people view that as you being kind of confrontational or maybe being a little stuck up in the connection. Damn, that was so rude. Sorry, y'all. I just had my my damn smoothie. It's so good. <laughs> Oh my God, my throat begins so dry when I talk so goddamn much. But uh, y'all know what I'm saying? You don't have a problem admitting when you're wrong, but you're gonna, you're not gonna admit what you're not admitting Capricorn when you're if you're not wrong. You're not gonna say I was wrong if you feel like you're not wrong. That's not gonna happen. You'll just move on from the motherfucker, like because you have beat yourself up a lot about some of the things that you've said in the past. And that's why you tread so lightly when it comes to offering your time, your energy, your effort to a connection. Because you've done that. You've been down that road of, you know, giving all of yourself and not getting anything in return. So it's like you only offer enough to move it forward that you feel like you're not overexerting yourself because you know what you have to offer in connections. And I feel like you're looking for that soulmate and if you communicate with someone, if you bring your attention to someone and they're not matching what you need or there's too much conflict, you're moving on. And people see that as you kind of not wanting to settle down. But I, I mean, I can see why, even with every sign, I can see why that they act this way because it's like, you know, your worth. And I feel like you, you're defending yourself against people who are not of your caliber. And you're waiting, you're waiting for that match with the Queen of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles being right here. You're waiting on that match to come your way because you know what you deserve. What's the Queen of Cups? This is a lot like the Sagittarius, but in a different way, in a more career-based way. I feel like with the Queen of Cups, the King of Cups is coming out to clarify that. You do have a lot of love to give. With the Knight of Cups, you see that as well. People see that you do have a lot of love to give, but it takes you a lot uh, uh, it takes you, it takes reciprocation for you to be able to express that. It takes for you to feel that the love is mutual, for you to actually express how you truly feel or to actually grow to a point of unconditional love for someone. They have to show you something too. They can't just expect, yeah, you, but, but, and you, because you don't express it, they can't just expect for you to be all open and, and honest and forthright. Oh, okay, or forthcoming, whatever the word is, with information, if they're not giving this information to you. I feel like you definitely are, people do see you as being tight-fisted as well, Capricorn, being kind of cheap, okay, holding back when it comes to dates. Maybe you buy cheap wine, okay? I feel like somebody said you buy cheap wine, whatever. I feel like you keep the good stuff at home and you take the cheap stuff with you to other people's <laughs> events, okay? Um, but also, okay, that was just a funny little side message, but just also that you are very selective and you hold on to what you have. Okay. They could either see you as saving up for something, you know, saving up for a house right now, or, you know, basically moving forward, but also the Knight of wands came out. So people talking about you Capricorn, they saying you want some buy house shit. 
I feel like because of the fact that you hold back, people feel as if you're inconsistent or as if they can't rely on you. Um, but I feel like it's a protection mechanism for you. But you're coming off in a way where you don't really express yourself. You keep things held in. You don't really tell people how you feel, even though they know or their intuition is telling them that you care for them. You don't say it. You don't express it. Or you don't express it in a way that they can correlate or correspond to. You're, you're coming off as a little inconsistent here with this Knight of Wands, okay? As quick to move on. Quick to go back in the direction you came because he's going back in the other direction. It's like you come forward to a certain extent. You offer yourself to a certain extent, but if somebody rubs you the wrong way or you feel like you're not safe in expressing yourself, you go, you, you go on. Yeah, you sneaking off. I didn't even see that bitch. Seven of Swords at the bottom of the deck. You're sneaking off. And I feel like people see you as in, in a certain way. They see you as kind of sneaky or maybe, you know, trying to manipulate the situation, trying to get away or trying to find a way to back out of a commitment. Yeah, keeping secrets here with the moon card at the back. There's a lot of uncertainty that people feel when they deal with you. And I feel like when they, they I feel like they're a little intimidated by you with this Five of Swords being right here too. There's a major intimidation factor. I feel like people are intimidated to speak to you. People are intimidated to be with you because they feel like you're moving so fast or they feel like you have some type of power here with this wheel of fortune. Okay. Yeah. Wow. A lot of people are nervous to talk to you, Capricorn. So let's see about the person who's on your mind. So for the person on my Capricorn's mind currently, how do they feel, Guardian Angels, about Capricorn? How does the person on my Capricorn's mind feel about them currently, Guardian Angels? Let me shuffle one more time. I feel the need. Y'all be sure to like, share, and subscribe. I feel like they want to communicate with you or they want to come and see you. Maybe they said, hey, they want to come visit you. Or maybe they called you on the phone. Okay. Oh, my nose is itching. Oh, so weird sometimes my nose starts itching. So what are the current feelings of the person on my Capricorn's mind? Oh, Ace of Swords. They want to tell you something. Oh, oh, that's you. Wow, Capricorn. So I feel like the person on your mind realized that you're the truth. And they realized that I feel like they've made the decision that you're the one who they want to fucking be with, period. Okay? I feel like they've also realized that they're very attached to you. They're drawn to you. This is a connection that they cannot break here with this Ace of Swords. It's something about realization. I, I feel like they want to have a conversation about the toxicity, to tell the truth about what happened or speak the truth about whatever toxicity that you guys share or have within this connection. But being that this is your card, I feel like they're really ready to admit the truth or they've realized the truth about how they feel about you. Maybe they've realized that they can't get over you here. Okay, eight of pentacles at the bottom and four of pentacles at the back. So I feel like they're not telling you this though. They're keeping this to themselves. They're thinking and realizing that you are the one who they want. Um, and they do want to put in teamwork here with this um, Eight of Pentacles. I feel like they want to work hard on this. I feel like they also see you rising here. I feel like they see you going from a Four of Pentacles to an Eight of Pentacles. Having a lot of clout, pretty much. I feel like the clout may be urging them to come forward and open up. But it's like they're keeping this a secret with this Four of Pentacles. They're not telling you how much they want to come together or how much they feel this romantic love attraction, soulmate attraction as well. So what are their next actions? The person on my Capricorn's mind currently, what are their next actions? Oh, Lord. Page of Swords. And see? I told you. they want. I saw the Eight of Wands earlier. That's why I said they want to come visit you. They want to communicate with you. They're thinking. Their next actions are to think about either how to talk to you, think about what to say to you, think about how they could possibly show up at your house, what excuse, what things that they still have of yours that can give them an excuse to come see you. This could definitely be a long distance relationship or y'all just are not talking right now. But this person is doing a lot of observing. They're watching you. I feel like they have something to tell you. 
they definitely have something to tell you and they're willing to travel i feel like a far distance to give this information to you i feel like they definitely want to talk to you they want to see you and they're trying to wait for the right moment here yes they want to give you some type of offer with this ace of pentacles and but they're not telling you the four of pentacles they're keeping it close to their chest i feel like this person could be a fire sign but they're they're definitely you know, trying to maneuver the situation. I feel like you've got them interested. They're watching you. You've caught their eye. Okay. And if they're feeling very, very drawn to you here, Capricorn. So what are the blockages, Guardian Angels, for my Capricorns when it comes to love? Patience. I just saw the temperance card. Okay. The the Hierophant here. The commitment itself. You, you have a fear of commitment or the, the obstacle is actually settling down, okay? Or knowing if this is the right decision. Um, yeah, see? And I said knowing if this is the right decision and the King of Swords came out. So your blockage, Capricorn, I feel like is whether or not the connection is going to serve you it's like you sometimes cannot differentiate between your heart and your mind well you can you can differentiate between your heart and your mind but i feel like you have trouble putting the heart into it it's really more of a logical decision you're not really making the decision based off how you feel and how your emotions are you're really just basing the decision off of maybe advice that you received from someone um you know, who's observed the situation or, you know, the teaching that's like, if your mom said, you know, don't, don't take no dog, you know, what, what's the saying? My bad. You know how, when you have your, okay. They say, if you, if you lie with dogs, you get fleas, you know, that type of shit. You're, you're thinking about all of those old wives tales, those omens, those things of those warnings of love and commitment and this person shoot, showed you some red flags. I was about to say shooed you. They may have shooed you away, rejected you, but um, they sh they've shown you some red flags. And logically, it's like you don't think that is that it's wise to enter into this commitment. And I feel like what's blocking you is that you're reverberating that over every person in your life or every commitment or every love interest basically tricking your mind into thinking that it may not be logical to be in a commitment right now. I'm not saying you're tricking yourself because it's not right. I'm just saying that that's not true for everything. We know that you can find love. It's just about having good boundaries. And I think that that's what you're contemplating right now is if, if love, like I said, is really something you need to be doing right. Or if you need to be focusing on work with this eight of pentacles, I feel like also you are, I feel like the work is calling you right now. The streets are calling. What song is that? Is that a rap song? Somebody said the streets are calling. <laughs> oh my God, y'all. So y'all feel like you should still be out there playing the field. Whoever this person is, it's like you, you may love them and you may know that they want to be with you. But it's like the streets are calling for whatever reason. And you feel like it might be something better out there for you. So what is the um, possible outcome for my Capricorns in this situation? Oh, I just saw the Nine of Pentacles. Okay, the Ten of Cups. I feel like you're going to be happy regardless of whatever you choose. Can I get one more card? The outcome is that you're going to find... The possible outcome is that you're going to find happiness. You're going to choose to find happiness. Oh, shit. Seven of Cups. That's the choice. I didn't even fucking see the car before I said you're going to choose to find happiness. You're going to make the decision to go towards what makes you happy. I feel like you're not going to allow confusion or distractions to affect your happiness. Okay. I feel like you having options or you playing the field right now is what you're wanting to do, what your spirit is calling to do calling to you to do and i feel like the possible outcome is that you're going to make the decision to either keep your options open or you're going to make the decision to settle down but either way you're going to do whatever feels right for you in that moment you're not going to allow anyone to sway your judgment here 
See, two of swords and the seven of swords. See the seven of swords again? It was at the bottom of the other deck. You've, I feel like you've already made the decision. And it's easier for you to keep shit casual, period. I don't know how else to say it. The seven of cups and now the seven of swords again. I feel like it's just easier for you right now to keep things more casual. So you can evaluate what's the right decision for you to make. And I feel like for you right now, the outcome is that you're going to just, you're really going to get away. I feel like you're going to run away from somebody. Okay, what is the advice for my Capricorn in this situation? What is the advice? Oh my God, another seven. Seven, seven, seven. The seven of wands. Oh man, and the tower. Wow. The seven of wands and the tower. The seven of wands and the tower. So I feel like your advice is to make sure you build firm foundations here. If there's something that needs to be changed, you guys are being told that it's time to make that change. I feel like you definitely need to defend yourself. Okay, let's see. The five of wands at the back and the two of swords. Okay, yeah, I get it. I feel like you really need to guard yourself against conflict right now. Okay, I feel like your advice is to really protect yourself against disasters, either seen or unseen, by being prepared. Okay, you're he's prepared right here with this wand. He's like, whichever one of y'all motherfuckers want some, come on and get some, bitch. That's why I, it's like I feel like you're being told to really protect yourself. Okay, be prepared. Okay, when okay, if I just heard protect yourself, you know, with condoms too. You know, when y'all fucking don't go in that bitch raw, okay? Or don't let that nigga go in you raw, okay? <laughs> I'm just playing, but I'm not, okay? Protect yourself because I feel like the more that you build a firm foundation for yourself and guard your heart at this moment, it will allow you to be prepared for change. And I feel like there is some type of major change coming towards you. Basically, guard yourself against the drama. Don't be afraid of change, okay? But turn a blind eye to the fighting, to the drama, and be patient. I saw that temperance card when it came to your obstacles in the other deck. Definitely, you're needing to be patient, Capricorn, because there's a level of impatience here that y'all are tired of waiting on something. You're tired of waiting on something to happen, and you're needing to really like gather your strength and be very, very patient. Because something about making rush decisions is, is a problem for you here. Meditate and contemplate. I feel like that's what has to do with that. I was drawn back to that. Meditate and contemplate. So don't make rush decisions. Definitely protect yourself. And think about what you do before you do it. Okay. So what are the hidden truths? So what do people want to tell my Capricorns that they either can't, don't, or won't? Like I say, y'all like, share, and subscribe. My life is not as together as it seems. Wow. So somebody tried to come off like one up in you, Capricorn, or they may have tried to come off like they're nonchalant. They don't care. But their life and their emotions are not as together as they may seem. Okay, so let's get, can I get two more for my Capricorns of what's not said? I couldn't let you get close to me. Wow. So someone had a fear of, opening up okay i feel like that's kind of similar to you i want to feel that way again wow so somebody's definitely missing you i feel that i feel that i feel that they're really drawn to you somebody's really drawn to you somebody's watching you real hard and they could be thinking about a way to come see you or how to reach out to you what to say to to get you to actually pay them some attention see i wish i could take back my words they could be wanting to apologize, but look, at the back, I am not available. Or they're not making themselves available here, okay? So let's get an angel answer for you, Capricorn. Before we go, my darlings, what is the most important answer for my Capricorns? What is the most important answer? It's, I, I just feel like you guys are not ready right now or or... You would be ready for the right person when the right person comes or when the person who 
you've manifested or dreamed about or wrote affirmations about come, you're going to be more than open. But I feel like right now you're giving off the vibe where you're just kind of like, mm -mm, it's about me. So what is the most important answer for my Capricorns? Ooh, abundance. Boom. Told you that's in the cups. Regardless of whatever you do, Capricorn, you guys are going to be happy. Okay, you have yes at the bottom. So I guess that's a yes. And communicate clearly here at the back. So be sure that you guys are clearly communicating what you want to prospective love interest because I feel like you're giving off a little confusion maybe or they don't know what to think here. And then it's like they feel blindsided because you don't want a commitment. So just be sure that you're clear about how you're expressing yourself and what you're saying to people, okay? And I hope that you guys have enjoyed this message. So be sure to like, share, and subscribe. As always, Capricorn, stick to the positivity today and every day. Be blessed. And don't let none of these stinking ass, funk ass motherfuckers steal your joy. Mwah. Bye, Capricorn. Love you.